Okay, I got the room apart. And I'm sure if you've done this modification before, you're going to be very familiar with uh, taking this apart. Um, as you can see, the rim here, I'll take the head off here. I guess the muffle head here, you can see it's starting to fray around the edges here. Might not be very obvious in this video. The end head's not as bad as the other ones are. Uh, but we can see that the tape, that's great. You can see that the uh, tape is starting to come apart uh, that goes around the metal hanger. And I guess it's just exposed, you know, exposes the metal hanger there and rubs up against the rim or the head. And then, uh, you know, that's what I guess the fraying is coming from. All right, so right now what I'm going to do is I want to get my plastic hanger tape <clears throat> instead of the metal one because it's uh, easier to work with. Uh, I guess it's not as sharp on the edges. Same thickness as the other metal hanger tape. Uh, we're going to run a bead of it around the outside here, tape it up just as we do as the metal hanger tape. I'll go ahead and create that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so there's my hanger mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it probably about an eighth of an inch, maybe a quarter inch. It just depends on, you know, it really depends on how, uh, you know, if you're going to be able to force it on there. Um, so I'm going to take it over about an eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to wrap that in place with some uh, electrical tape. All right, so what we have here is I have the plastic hanger tape. I overlapped it a little bit, wrapped it with some electrical tape to keep it in place. I, uh, when I made my pencil mark, I brought it over about an eighth of an inch, maybe sixteenth. It's pretty close to where the line is. And then I, um, I taped it up. Then I put it back in place, making sure it's not too loose. Um, and it fits pretty snug there. Uh, and then, of course, you can see this white area here on the inside that raises the, the, the rim up a little bit higher. What I want to do now is I want to protect the head from this edge here. Sure, it's not very sharp, uh, but I don't want to take the chance because it, you know I already dumped another, you know, $140 into the uh, into these new Roland heads, and I want to protect them and make sure that they're uh, they don't end up doing whatever these cheap $7 heads did. So what I'm going to use is I have half-inch double-sided foam tape. Uh, I could not even begin to tell you where to get it. Uh, I borrowed this from somebody. I'm sure I've seen something very similar to the to this in Lowe's. It's about a half inch thick. And what I want to do is I'm going to put it around the edge here and then fold it over. You don't want to go all the way to the bottom because then you're going to make this rim too thick and then you're not going to be able to fit the head on there. But before I show you what that looks like, uh, there's one other step I forgot. Uh, to mention is that I need to run electrical tape around the edge here uh, around the piece. I'm going to wrap it around uh, because the double-sided tape does not stick to this plastic very well. Um, so I'm just going to um, run it around the outside and then I'll be back after I have it in place. Okay so I wrapped electrical tape around here you know kind of loosely I didn't put it a real tight wind around around it uh, when you do that you're going to want to make sure you, you you know you use some patience take your time because you don't want the tape to be folded and uh, have wrinkles in it because then it's going to make it a lot more difficult to get the uh, to get the tape across or the uh, the hanging tape back on the rim here uh, so here I have now my uh, double-sided foam tape I put it on the inside first and so I can fold it to the outside here so I want to remove the uh, I want to remove the paper off the back of it and then I want to start folding it over here now again you don't want to make sure you have any wrinkles in this point either Okay, so here we have our first layer of foam tape around the edge here. Um, it, you know, it's, it's a little bit rounded here. 
it's not I don't think it's going to provide as much protection as I feel comfortable with so what I did on my modification here is I put uh, another two additional layers so I'm going to go ahead and run another layer on here and then uh, I'm going to put the third layer on and then I'll show you what it looks like when all three layers are up on on the head here okay so now I already have my two layers on, uh, on around the rim here this is my third layer uh, every time you start adding a new layer you always want to start on this side at the top of the black rim here and, and then fold over yes it's going to be shorter each uh, with each piece on the outside here but our goal is to protect the top uh, we don't necessarily need to get as much on the side here um, so go ahead and fold your third layer across and when you get to this point you're going to see that you're going to have a pretty decent radius on the top of this so it's going to uh, it will definitely pr provide better protection than just the standard uh, hanger tape uh, being pressed against the head here Okay, make sure you don't have any wrinkles and everything is pushed down into place. Now you can take this rim off. And this is what you're going to end up with. It's kind of, uh, you can see how it kind of hangs over there. Each layer is a little bit shorter. You're going to start on the inside and fold it to the outside. And again, the bottom, you can see it's pretty narrow and I just wouldn't want to have that on the the head so I put this radius on there to kind of protect it so now what you're going to do is you want to take your electrical tape and wrap from the inside to the out spiral it around here and just like in the previous uh, instructions on how to wrap up your hanger tape so I'm going to wrap that up and then I'll show you what it looks like okay so here I'm wrapping the tape around the rim and when I go to put it on I want to put a little, I put more pressure when I pull it across the top because I want it to compress this foam just a little bit because uh, that's going to give me a nice uniform radius on the top. And so it's not going to be all bumpy and wavy all over the place. So I just give it a, make it snug when I wrap it around there and make sure that, again, that you don't have any wrinkles in the electrical tape. Okay, so now here is our piece. It's finished. It's wrapped. You can see that there's a pretty decent radius around the edge here. Again, this is what it looked like previously before we had the radius. And now we have a pretty nice edge around there. So that'll, good, so that'll provide some pretty decent protection. Okay, so now what you want to do is go ahead and put your final piece here uh, onto the, uh, the drum. Uh, and then we'll be done with that. And then I'm going to talk about what I did here and change this.